Go ahead, go. This journey is not over by any means. It's almost just begun. So these are the names of all the dogs and then you can organize the teams. So which one are you gonna pick? Oh, I think this will be my team here. The dogs are getting ready to go. So I think that means that we're, we're almost there. As soon as you start dealing with dogs and you're dealing with, you know, it's just a, an added, added bonus, but it's a little bit added work as well. And that's why Magnus is professional dog musher Having Magnus along on this trip is going to make a big difference and um, it's going to be a pretty pretty interesting experience getting out here and chasing bison, looking for a big bull bison in the Yukon. So, what do you say we get the dogs hooked up yeah. and get at her? Let's do it. I'll pass them down. Yep. We've uh, taken a little bit of time to make sure we have everything. The dogs are clearly ready to go. <laughs> the trail's pretty soft, but um, we've had some fresh snow in the last 24 hours. Yeah. Just the one? Yeah. Yeah, I got this one. What a peaceful, peaceful experience. You know, getting out here with these dogs in the Yukon, hunting in the spring. You know, we still have some cold days ahead of us, there's no doubt, but the longer days are coming and, you know, it's minus 20 at night, which is completely manageable. You know, you get beautiful warm days and I think that no matter where you live uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, you you really have an appreciation for springtime. <laughs> These guys are the uh, pack mules of the adventure racing world on the team. Not that they all aren't, but these guys have to have the added pleasure of uh, having to feel me moving around, shifting weight back and forth and going around corners. So they get a more pressure laterally than any of the other dogs. And uh, they gotta be tough and just head down and get her done type, uh, type of attitude. And they certainly are. It's cooling off a little bit. It's what, seven o'clock at night. The dogs are getting faster, so it cools off. They're excited to run. The first thing we're gonna unload the sled, get some stuff out. Priority number one is always take care of the dogs first. You know, it's these guys are your lifeline out here. You get back in the in the mountains and in the hills and these temperatures and these guys can get you a long way back. And if you don't take care of them number one, they're not gonna take care of you. Nobody eats till they do. Making a bit of room for the dogs so we don't have to wade through the deep snow. Get the cooker going, some hot water, some food. Nice. That's the plan. Once you put the straw down, we call the straw the dog magnet. They, they learn that. And uh, if you actually sleep on it, you'll feel the difference, how much warmer it is yeah. to actually sleep on, on straw as opposed to right on the snow. 
Well, if it gets down to minus 30, then that might be on the straw. Oh yeah, it's uh, well worth <laughs> Cuddling up to one of those dogs tonight. Time to set up, get my bed ready. Yeah, just like downtown. Everybody seems pretty uh, snugged in there. Yeah. When your dogs don't even <laughs> say anything. This reminds me of trying to put my mittens on my two-year-old at home. <laughs> This guy seems to be not moving around as much as my daughter. As you can see, these guys are all ready to go. As the first guy comes off the gang line and gets hooked up to the sled, then they're all on point and they're ready to go. I wish I was that excited when I had 30 mile run ahead of me as these guys are, but for these guys, 30 or 40 miles is just a walk in the park, so it's pretty exciting to watch. Let's get on the trail and see if we can go find ourselves a bison. That's the one, there you go, easy. Lunchtime, guys. Nice. Good job, Marshall. This creek is completely open coming in here. And it doesn't get any better, right? Eh? You can hear the water underneath the ice here. That's completely open. Yeah, there's no way we're getting the dogs through this. We're going to have to break a trail up through the timber. I says we we come around the corner and we get up on the bank right over here. Okay. Uh, and a place where we can access a few trees and our, our front hooks. We can tie tie up the front of the teams as well. It's gonna leave you guys behind for now. It's a pretty good idea that we do not take the dogs through here. Try to get up on the land and break a trail. Hopefully find another snowmobile trail or something because it just makes life so much easier traveling with the dogs. Every one of these drainages that's coming in here is pouring water into this valley at this time of year. So it's just really difficult. Not quite sure what to do at the moment. There's no specific trail. I was hoping to find maybe, you know, a snowmobile trail, kind of like what we've been on. I think what I'm gonna go back and talk to Magnus, but the game plan will be to maybe go to plan B. <laughs> And plan B will consist of having to turn around and go back our, the trail we came in, and then we'll hook off, cut off to the north, and pick up another snowmobile trail that I know is in there. And it'll take us back around and come into this drainage from a different angle. This looks delicious, man. Yeah. You want some? Mm hmm? Give me a spoon. Yeah.
it does not look like we're gonna get 20 miles in with the dogs in this country. Move on to plan B. We'll see.